Okay, so today I'll be upgrading the operating system on my MSI GE70 laptop from Windows 10 Home to Windows 11 Home. So this computer originally came with Windows 8.1. I got it in 2015. So, and I did upgrade the operating system to Windows 10. Now I'll be attempting to upgrade it to Windows 11. So uh, I made a video uh, previously about uh, how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported software, on an unsupported um, hardware requirements. And um, you could um, refer to those videos in the video descriptions below or go to the video card on the right top right side of the screen if you view that video but today I'll just be um, upgrading my operating system to a more modern one even though I don't have the hardware requirements and this is the laptop that I'm using this is an MSI GE70 laptop and this is a fourth generation this has a fourth generation i7 mobile processor and it doesn't have a um, TPM 2.0 so obviously I don't have the hardware requirements to install this but, it, but with this hack I can I can do it just gonna go to the Windows file I made a video about this before, so you could refer to that on how to do that. It's the exact same process. So I'm going to set up Windows. Just make sure you uh, updated your Windows 10 fully before you do this, or it's going to take a lot longer. Right now, the time is 8:43. AM and I also want to see how long it takes to upgrade to Windows from Windows 10 to Windows 11 okay I bypassed it with that hack and you could refer to that uh, the video in the video descriptions you want to know how to do that it's not that hard you could just download the app razor .dll file and put it into the sources folder you could get that file from that video I have a video link to to where you can get that file or you could just edit it yourself I also made a video on that as well So this computer has um, AUEFI BIOS, but it doesn't have TPM 2.0. So, from my experience, when you install, when you upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10, without um, TPM 2.0, but if you have UEFI BIOS, it doesn't give you the disclaimer for some reason that this the hardware is not supported or something but if you don't have TPM 2.0 and UEFI BIOS it tells you, it gives you a disclaimer and I also installed Windows or upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 with a much older computer which was a Dell XPS 9000 and I gave you that disclaimer if you didn't have both but for some reason it doesn't give you the disclaimer if you just lack TPM 2.0 which was kind of weird so I'm gonna skip through this it's gonna take a while and now I'm at this screen so I'm gonna install it this part takes a little bit of time so 
So this computer does have a SSD in it. It has a I upgraded it to a M SATA SSD. I still have the hard drive that it came with it, which was a I think a Toshiba one terabyte uh, 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive, which I'm using as a secondary drive. And the operating system was installed on the M SATA SSD. It was a Samsung Evo something. I don't I don't exactly remember the model number. But uh, yeah, I put an MSATA SSD in it, so it shouldn't take very long to uh, upgrade. On a mechanical hard drive, it does take quite a bit of time because uh, it is slower. So the MSATA is capable of 500 um, megabytes per second in terms of bandwidth, which is pretty fast. So I'm going to skip through this part, you don't have to wait through this, or watch this. Okay, it's, that part's finished, now it's restarting. Skip through this. Okay, now that's done. Just have to log in. Time is now 9.20 a.m. and it's finished. That's it. I got Windows 10 on my computer.